We believe in a God who is all good and all powerful. But if God is all good and all powerful, then why is there so much pain in the world? Natural disasters, diseases, hatred, bigotry, racism. If God is real, why doesn't God stop those things from happening? Doesn't God care about us? Why would God let us suffer? Why is there evil in the world? I've heard these questions a thousand times. I've seen devout Christians experience hardship and as a result, they lose their faith. They ask, why would God allow this to happen? It can be easy to have faith when things are going well when we feel blessed, when we can see that God is taking care of us. But when things fall apart, it's all too easy to turn our backs on God and to assume either that God doesn't care or God doesn't exist. So let's tackle the first and most fundamental question. Why is there evil in the world? If God created all things, why did God create a world that allowed evil? To answer that question, we first need to understand what evil is. Evil is not a thing itself. Evil is a lack. That is to say, evil is a lack of goodness. Just as darkness is not a thing itself, but is rather an absence of light. So is evil not a thing itself? but an absence of goodness. So God did not create evil. God created all that is, but evil is not. However, there's a problem. We can choose whether or not we follow what is good. God created us with free will, so we can decide what we do and what we believe. But why would God create us with free will if God knew that we would choose not to do good and we would introduce the lack of good or evil into the world? The answer is love. God created us to love God and to love one another. But love has to be a free choice. Can you force someone to love you? If you try to force someone to love you, it usually has the opposite effect. By its very nature, love has to be a free choice. So God created us with free will so that we would be able to love. But that free will also means we can choose not to love. Free will is good because it enables us to love, but like many good things, free will can be misused. So God did not create evil, but we have introduced evil or the lack of good into the world by our refusal to use our free will to follow what God has laid out for us, what God has shown us to be good. Now for the next question. Why does God allow pain, whether it's physical pain or mental and emotional pain? Well, Pain is not itself evil. Pain serves a purpose. It tells us that something is wrong. If we didn't have physical pain, we wouldn't know when something was wrong with our bodies, and then we wouldn't go seek medical treatment. Emotional pain also alerts us when something is wrong. When relationships end or we lose a loved one, the pain we feel tells us that that's not the way things are supposed to be. We are supposed to be in healthy, loving relationships with people that don't end. But our God is no stranger to pain. God took on flesh in the person of Jesus Christ and experienced all the pain that we do. Rejection, the death of friends, temptation, and a brutal, torturous death. God understands what it means to suffer. And Christ himself suffered for us so that our sins can be forgiven. 
Jesus suffered so that we can have life, even though we have failed to choose the good, even though we have failed to love. We have failed to use our free will to be what God created us to be. But because Jesus suffered and died and rose again, we can have life anew. So to sum up, evil doesn't actually exist. It is a lack of what truly exists, which is goodness, because all that God made is good. Pain and suffering are a natural part of the human experience, and natural disasters are just that natural part of living in a natural world. But God knows what it feels like to experience suffering in a human body. And because of that, we are never alone in our suffering. God is right there with us. Whenever things are falling apart for me, I think of Jesus on the cross. I think of what he did for me, what he did for you. Now it's time to read the material below and answer the reflection question.